Let's talk about how to make money selling Amazon liquidation pallets. Okay, so here's a prologue to this conversation. So when you think about uh, Amazon liquidation pallets, you have to think about some kind of bonanza when it comes to uh, monetary uh, monetary uh, bonanza. Okay, and the thing is that people are building online stores without inventory. People are building online stores with inventory. People are building online stores with uh, anything in between. But the thing is that you can build online stores with inventory sourced from Amazon customer returns. So the Amazon liquidation business model works, okay? Because see, if you think about how many uh, how many orders Amazon processes every single day, of course, even if you have 1% return per day, that's a lot of returns, okay? So the question is, can you make money selling liquidation pallets? Of course you can. Uh, you can, okay? Now, not all of them, all of them get relisted, especially if their user sells only new items. Instead, the warehouses pack return items into a pallets, and they sell these return pallets to liquidation distributors like like uh, liquidation.com, for instance, or even bulk. Now, the thing is that uh, when we talk about the Amazon liquidation uh, box, you can find a lot of stuff. You can find uh, everything from a uh, postage printer to water flosser. You can have electronic hearing protection equipment hair trimmer you can have a lot of stuff in an amazon liquidation palace so the thing is that uh amazon again processes a lot of orders every single day so when you look at a pallet you have a, a variety of uh, of items and the thing is that without liquidation businesses pallets of uh, unused items would stack up and this is why we love this this uh business because you have you give an opportunity to uh, third parties such as you and me to profit from uh, from liquidation pallets so if you think about it, Amazon has, has been around for many years now, and uh, its roots started as an online uh, book uh, book sale or online book uh, conduit of, of sorts, where people resold uh, their own stuff, right? So this is an important element to think about. I want to contextualize the uh, the whole the whole uh, conversation about how to make money selling Amazon liquidation pallets. So I want you to really understand that it is profitable. There is an endless source of uh, of uh, of items because because people are returning items all the time, and you have the opportunity to make money if you are able to have the right strategy. So let's talk about the steps you need to follow if you want to make money selling Amazon liquidation pallets. The, the thing is that first of all, how do you start a liquidation business? There are three things you you need to pay attention to, and those three things. The, they don't matter where you are at. It doesn't matter about your state or city. Those things, those things are standard. So you want to secure inventory by purchasing, by purchasing liquidation pallets, right? It's all about finding a source of uh, your your commodities, a source of your products. So first of all, secure inventory by purchasing liquidation pallets. Then you want to sort and catalog the items. In other words, you have to you need to have a clear idea what what items are, what demographics to uh, to go for. And the cool thing is when you catalog the items, you have the opportunity to actually sell the items, not necessarily to, uh, to B2C, like uh, to consumers directly, but there are other uh, middlemen, other uh, inter intermedi intermediaries. You can sell this to, for example, Shopify stores that specialize in uh, rebuying or buying liquidation pallets. So number two, you want to sort and catalog the items. Number three, you want to sell your items online and market your store okay and as the thing here is that how do you get pallets of return merchandise on amazon well there are pallets sourced from different vendors and marketplaces however the liquidation amazon business model is gaining popularity and so one common way to get your hands on a pallet of uh, return amazon merchandise is to browse an online liquidation marketplace so again websites like bulk and direct liquidation offer a wholesale uh, pallets that you can browse and purchase so depending on your on your area you might have a nearby warehouse location that you can visit and inquire about about amazon pallets for sale and what i want to see here is that you have you have to think about due diligence so you want to look first if you can so a benefit of visiting a physical location is that you can inspect the pallet before purchasing and you can better judge each pallet and negotiate the best price moreover you will save money on a shipping if you take a truck right so after browsing the available pallets you can make an offer on a pallet that picks your interest in the first place 
So, well, one thing for sure though, when you uh, when negotiating the price, be mindful of the shipping cost. So, depending on uh, who you are ordering from, the pallet may be uh, shipping across. Uh, I mean, one state on the other. I mean, maybe shipping from across the country, really. And the shipping freight alone can be seriously uh, be high enough to eat into your any potential profit from reselling the merchandise. Also, remember the, the fine print in any contract you sign because all sales are final and you want to ensure that you know you are buying what you know you know what you're buying before making a payment. Another thing to note when buying pallets is that you have space to store your pallet. Make sure you have a large enough area to sort and catalog the truckload of merchandise. Very important. Now, the thing is that uh, when we talk about li liquidation uh, pallets, how do you sell liquidation stocks, right? First of all, you want to sort and catalog, right? It's all about granularity. So it's all about knowing exactly what you have. So after you receive your pallet, it's time to inspect and catalog the merchandise. And what you want to do here is that you want to prepare a clear surface for storing and sorting items. So this could be your, your garage. It can be your basement. It could be, uh, it could be anywhere else. So part of selling liquidation pallets is efficiency. So identifying and organizing the items is critical to a running your online liquidation business. So while inspecting each item, you want to ask the following questions. Is the packaging in good condition? Because again, if you're going to resell this, you want to make sure that the packaging is in good condition in the first place. You also want to ask a question about the products themselves, right? Are the products in good condition? Because otherwise, again, this is just a waste of a waste of time and money and resources. Is the product discontinued? In other words, you want to make sure the product is still active, is still alive. Otherwise, you know nobody's going to buy your product. And is the product authentic? Is it a brand name or a knockoff? Right. So it's all about validating the product itself. So because again, you have to you are gauging how easy it will be for you to resell the product. And also, does the manufacturer offer a warranty? Because you have certain products that actually come with warranty and others don't. So the thing is that you want to have a clear idea about where you stand in the first place and uh, what what kind of warranty, if any, applies to uh, to your product. So as you go through the pallet, it may be helpful to have a, a junk pile. And a junk pile actually is a nice word to, to actually describe the items that are too damaged or defective. And be mindful of uh, electronics. Some of its parts and components may be worth separating for resale. So it's one of those things where you have to see what really works depending on your specific audience. The more you do it, the better you'll, 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 you'll get at it. It's all about having a, a clear idea of what works for you and what doesn't work for you. So, and again, it's one of those things where the more you do it, the more experience you gain, you will gain over time. Then you, you will start identifying trends in your industry, what works, what doesn't work. And you also know exactly if an item will sell, like a, a liquidation pallet will sell faster than, than, uh, than others. So now let's talk about setting up your online store. So after you have finished sorting the items of value from the junk, it's time to move into the next phase, selling your items. And so similar to the various liquidation pallets marketplaces, there are so many marketplaces to set up your online store, right? So Amazon and eBay are the most popular. So those are actually marketplaces. You also have Etsy, you have, uh, you have others. You, and, uh, but each marketplace has its own culture and guidelines. And eBay has always been a favorite place for the, gar the garage sale entrepreneurs. So if you are serious about cultivating an income flow for, from reselling Amazon liquidation pallets, then you'll find a home at eBay. You can still resell the items on, on Amazon or, or Amazon compared to other marketplaces, though it tends to carry stricter seller guidelines. Okay, so maybe uh, it wouldn't be a good opportunity to sell the, the Amazon pallets on Amazon uh, itself. Maybe it's good to sell it on eBay, on Facebook Marketplace, or on Walmart Marketplace, or even just set up a, your own your own online store. So this is kind of cool because if you set up your own your own online store, you have flexibility. So what you just go to a, a provider such as Shopify, Big Commerce, WooCommerce, Big Cartel, Magento, to actually set up your online store. So you have more flexibility in terms of 
of course the thing is when you have your own online store you do not have the traffic the amount of traffic that you would get with a with, with the marketplace i mean the, the amount of traffic that amazon controls or at least the triggers every single day is unthink it's it's really really uh unparalleled so if you want to really uh, if you have a way to draw your own traffic maybe it's just better to have your own your own store but if not go with go with uh an amazon uh, marketplace or even uh, a walmart marketplace so when reselling on amazon keep in mind that you may run into trouble if uh, reselling any of the following items clothes beauty products handbags baby items you have also health items example supplements luggage jewelry right and getting your online store up and running is a simple process if you were to go to uh, let's see uh, those marketplaces very important to think about so let's talk about uh, the liquidation business of uh, profitability in general I mean is the liquidation business profitable because whether you are trying to sell Amazon liquidation pallets or eBay M liquidation uh, pallets or other uh, pallets the, the 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 big question about profitability is is a good one now the liquidation business can be profitable just like any business venture there are certain risks involved for sure so you have to uh, you have to think about a few things you have to look at the nature and quality of the products that are actually uh, in the pallet inside the pallet right especially when you have uh, electronics be very careful because uh, electronics, you 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 need to have a you need to do extra work to actually determine the quality or or the value, the monetary value that is of uh, the uh, of the goods, right? And the last thing you want is to actually be in a situation where you're constantly trying to trying to find out what really works for your your niche or not. And but it's one of those things where the more experience you have, the better. Now, selling liquidation pallets is a gamble, but there are ways. You can increase your chances of profit and uh, one is to purchase manifest pallets over unmanifested pallet or mystery pallets that way you have a clear idea about what you can expect right it's all about expectations i mean at the end of the day this is a this is an expectation game and also uh one thing i want to say also is that it also depends on the geography you want you you'll be selling the items uh in so if you are going to sell the items uh like uh, physically like live or you want to you want to set up an online uh, an online store the kind of a uh, target you are attracting the kind of uh, demographics you are attracting will play a big role as to uh whether or not you can you can really get away with uh with your strategy and the one thing for sure is that you have to ask yourself do you do you want to do this by yourself like uh in uh, one uh like as a solopreneur or you want to really uh, band together with uh, other players in the industry and uh, other uh, other resellers so that you can share experiences you can share tips you can share hacks you know or, and what have you that way you can really uh, see what works and what doesn't work so I was talking to you earlier about mystery palace which is manifested palace and it, this is a, an important element to think about if you are if you are considering uh, Amazon liquidation pallets and you're trying to really do this uh, at a very let's say on a full-time basis right that way you have a, a clear idea about what works and what doesn't work now what I want to say here is that when we th when we think about Amazon liquidation pallets especially with uh, mystery pallets mystery pallets as the name suggests are a mystery at best you know the category the pallet falls under like beauty electronics tools etc right now, manifest pallets, on the other hand, offer more information. So, of course, you might say, well, with mystery pallets, the risk is, is really high. But some resellers, they love this sort of uh, this sort of uncertainty because you never know what, what, what you will get. And sometimes you might be uh, pleasantly surprised and sometimes you might not be, right? It depends on your risk aversion. It depends on your risk profile. It depends on your risk, uh, your risk taking profile. What kind of risk can you take personally? So uh, when we talk about manifest pallets, with these pallets, the description of the con of the contents usually includes the item names, the quantities, the product descriptions, the suggested retail value. So this is an important element to think about. And so there are pros and cons to buying each. I'm speaking here about manifest pallets versus mystery pallets. 
So mystery palettes often sell at a lower price than uh, manifested palettes. So similar to a storage unit auction, you don't know what you're getting until you buy it. And there is an opportunity to gain a palette full of treasure or a stack of damaged and defective items. So that's the gamble that you are you you are you you'll be willing to actually uh, take. If you like that kind of uh, that kind of games, then go for it. Okay. And uh, so with manifested palettes, you know more about what you're buying, and so this extra information can help you deduce the uh, deduce the potential resale value of the manifested palettes content, right? And uh, so the price goes up because all the participants in the sale, they are getting the same info. And uh, so that means what? That means that you have an added value here. And uh, so the premium, so there is a premium for this sort of a, this sort of a visibility, this sort of a transparency. So transparency carries a premium in that sense. And so you have to actually uh, spend a little more to have a clear idea what you're getting yourself into. So this is what you should, you should be really thinking about in the long run. So what are the best liquid liquidation auction sites? Well, it, it really depends on what you're trying to sell. So to find liquidation pallets, your best bet is to search online and many online marketplaces sell pallets, but you must do your research, okay? And many sites and deals look profitable, but you must understand that the entire scope of the transaction, including is the pallet manifested or unmanifested? How much are the shipping costs? Very important to think about that. And with that said, the following liquidation sites tend to be uh, the most uh, widely used, especially when buying Amazon liquidation pallets. So you have bulk, you have direct liquidation, you have liquidation.com, and you have a uh, blue lots among other things, right? So this is an important element to think about. Now, can you sell liquidation on Amazon? Yes. I mean, I just want to clarify that, that aspect of things. You can sell liquidation items on Amazon. And uh, as I said a little earlier, Amazon sells pallets of return items to liquidation buyers. Liquidation buyers can then take these items and resell them on Amazon. So, but there are specific guidelines that you should follow if you decide to resell on Amazon. First, you should not be listing the items conditions uh, as new. Even if the product has no damage and functions, it was likely returned to Amazon under one of those issues. And if you list the item as new, Amazon can penalize your account. Worst case scenario, the original branded company might pursue legal uh, action against you. Also, be mindful that you're not reselling any of the items listed earlier, such as clothes and beauty products. And so in terms of liquidation.com, uh, for instance, like other liquidation marketplaces, liquidation.com is where professional buyers can purchase liquidation pallets. And uh, the pallets range from uh, product like many product categories, including electronics, housewares, and beauty products. Liquidation.com makes money when buyers purchase those pallets, usually for a fixed price. So long story short, you can you can make a lot of cash through liquidation. Just think about experience. You have to really uh, get experience and you have to also develop a certain flair in uh, identifying uh, what items can be profitable and what what items are not going to be profitable. So it is what it is. But one thing for sure, if you can't really sell on Amazon, you can sell on uh, Poshmark, eBay, or you can sell on other uh, through other conduits. So in conclusion to this conversation, I, I, I spoke to you about how to make money selling Amazon liquidation pallets. I give you the prologue, the steps, and now the conclusion. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay Marvelous.